So let's get started, uh, first of all, with this movie that we have here. And we're going to look at um, the foot strikes and how you look at your movies, how you can place the boxes around the foot strikes, and how you can also uh, choose certain foot strikes that you want to eliminate from the calculation. So here we have our um, recording. And you can see down here, it says uh, it's in the peak stance mode right now. So it's essentially as if you walked in uh, walking on a beach and you look back and you see your footprints in the sand um, and you can see here it says the pass number one of five so if we uh, take this out of peak right here and we just play it you can see from left to right the person's walking uh, and this would be the first pass and then you'll see them coming from right to left uh, for pass two and so and so on so pass three will be coming from left to right and we also will stop it there and we'll take it back into our peak modes so see the foot strikes and bring it back to our first pass so essentially there's five passes that uh, were recorded in this case so the first thing we want to do here is is get to, uh, our our tables our human uh, gate tables so this this by pushing this button up here the software will automatically uh, find the foot strikes and place a box around the, each foot strike uh, you'll notice right off the bat, there's color-coded boxes. So red, in this case, is for right, and this is the first foot strike, R1. And then green is for the left foot, and you can see up here it's identifying it as L1, which would be the first strike with the left foot. Click OK here, our tables are made. Now, these tables are taken as an average. Um, well, in this case, it's a sum from the number of strikes, but when you do the calculations for some of the other uh, parameters in there, it will be taking all of the foot strikes that were selected and average those uh, into the tables. So the first thing we wanna do is to really look at, are the foot strikes that were selected by the software, are they okay? Are those the ones that we really want to um, have for our data analysis? So what we can do is look at this as pass one and are we happy with these foot strikes? They're all complete foot strikes. So I'd say, yes, we're happy, but let's move on to the next pass. And you can see down here by clicking forward, we're now at pass two of five. And we can see our foot strikes here. So our left three, our three, left four, our four. And then we see our foot strike here that was not selected. And it's it's likely because the toes were uh, were, were cut off there. And it's it's not a foot strike that we'd want to include in our, in our calculation necessarily. So that's good that the software noticed that. And we'll go to the next one and we can see these foot strikes look good. And we'll go to the next one and we can see those ones are good. And again, we can see a heel strike just starting here at the end of this, but it wasn't selected in there. And, and again, the software did a good job taking care of that. And the last pass looks good as well. So in this case, the software did a very good job, you know, identifying the foot strikes that we have, that were complete foot strikes that we wanted to include into our uh, analysis. I just wanted to open up another movie and show you what happens if the software does select a foot strike that maybe you don't want in your calculation. And we'll go through the same process that we just did there. So I might go a little through it a little bit faster than the first time. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see. So again, here's our foot strike. We can see our passes one of five. So again, five passes were taken. We're gonna hit our human table button and have the software automatically identify the foot strikes. And in this case here, we can see a problem right off the start with our first foot strike. So our L1, which was left foot was the first one to hit, but you see there's an asterisk on that box. Uh, kind of bringing our attention to it, say this is we're we're boxing, we're putting a box around this, but you might want to look at it and make sure it's a complete foot strike. And in this case, we can see that the heel contact phase is missing completely. So we probably want to exclude this from our calculation since all the other foot strikes are complete. To do that, we can hit the edge of the box here with a right click, and then we can mark this one as an NA, and you'll see that the box actually gets grayed out. So it gets removed from any of the calculations inside the gate tables here from the other uh, foot strikes. And now we're gonna advance to the next one again. And this one, 
It's what has our four foot strikes, and then you can see our heel strike here, another incomplete foot strike. But in this case, the software did a good, a good job not, not selecting that. And we can go to the next one, and we can see these four strikes. And again, this one, it looks like it's putting another asterisk there, wants to bring our attention to it, because the, four, the forefoot is missing on this foot strike. So again, we're gonna do a right click, mark this as NA, and take that out of the, uh, the calculations. Move to the next, that one looks good. And the final one, this one looks good. So we've basically eliminated two of our foot strikes from the gate table calculations, um, simply because they were incomplete uh, foot strikes and we don't wanna have that in, uh, included into the average that's being calculated in our gate tables.